Hey guys, if there's one thing all musicians can agree on is that creativity can strike at any second. There's nothing worse than thinking of a killer guitar part only for it to slip your mind as you scramble to document it. Luckily, Spark makes it easier than ever to record your ideas into your DAW for later use. Let's take a look at how this is done. The first thing you'll need is a proper cable. For most computers, this will be a USB-A to USB-B, which comes with Spark. If your computer doesn't recognize this cable, you'll most likely need a USB-B to USB-C cable. Spark's recording interface will automatically be recognized by macOS. However, you're going to need to install an ASIO driver if you're using a Windows PC. You can do this by visiting asioforall.org and downloading the driver. So let's get ready to record. First, we're going to choose a tone. This is a great tone right here, so let's start tracking. We're going to head over to our DAW and create a new track. I'll be using Persona Studio One, which is included free with Spark, but Spark is compatible with any other DAW as well. First, I'll click here to create a new song, and I'm going to name it Spark. Click OK, then right click the space over here, choose Add Tracks, and then click OK. All that's left to do now is hit record and start jamming. All right, let's see how that turned out. All right, that sounded pretty good. I'm gonna try adding a second track as well so I can solo on top of that. This time I'm gonna change my tone for more delay and reverb. All right, let's take a listen to that. That sounds pretty good to me. So there you have it guys, the recording is now on your desktop DAW. Now that you understand the first steps of recording, we hope that you have fun laying down some of your own music. Thanks for stopping by.